I'm walking along the Calaveras Fault that runs parallel to the San Andreas Fault. Now there's another big fault in the central part of the United States that actually made the Mississippi River run backwards. Backwards? That's like saying the Nile or Amazon rivers flowed backwards. How can this be? The Mississippi River is the largest and most powerful river in the United States. Yet this was not enough to stop the force of nature to make it suddenly run backwards. Could this happen again? And could it happen where you live? During a two to three month period from 1811 to 1812, three major earthquakes greater than magnitude seven violently shook the area of New Madrid, Missouri in the middle of the U.S. The shaking was felt across the whole central and eastern U.S. as far away as Canada. In addition, the local people felt over 2,000 shocks for several months. These earthquakes were so powerful that it caused the mighty Mississippi River to flow backwards. It even created some waterfalls and flooded large fields and created a lake that was between two to six meters deep. So, can something this big and powerful happen again? Yes, but fortunately, major earthquakes in the middle of the continents are very rare. So naturally, you must be wondering if this can happen where you live. So the best thing to do is to become aware. Talk to your local emergency management office or your civil defense equivalent, and they will tell you what to do in a big earthquake or what the risk is for your area. Down below, I'll put a link to a virtual map that'll give you an idea of the risk in your part of the globe. The key is to be prepared so that you don't wake up to a flooded house or a river running backwards. Now in a separate video, I'm gonna talk about the mechanism of the faulting and how those waterfalls actually came to be. It's interesting, so stay with me. Like what you see? Then go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna get more science than you know what to do with. Oh yeah, you're gonna get some science.